In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this skirt. This is a part 2 video of this bucket hat, crop top, and mini skirt set. This is a bodycon skirt that matches the top we did in the last video. I added the crisscross tie to make it look more sexy, and I really love how it turned out. Most techniques used here, like chaining or double crochets, are covered in the last video. So I won't be spending too much time on them, hopefully you already know how to do them or have watched the first video. We're still going to need one main color, one accent color, a 4mm crochet hook, scissors, a yarn needle, and a tape measure. First of all, we're going to need our hip measurement. Tightly measure the widest part of your hips. You will have to do this without wearing thick pants or skirts. Wrap the tape measure around your hips. Move up and down 1 to 2 inches to find the widest spot. The widest part of my hips is 36 inches. Then I'm going to use the accent color to make a chain that, when it's stretched, measures around your hip measurement. So for me, I'm going to do 36 inches. And just to double check, I'm going to wrap this chain tightly around the widest part of my hips and make sure it's not too loose because we want the skirt to be fitted. Adjust your chain number if you need to. So for my measurement, I need to chain 135 and then I'm going to join in the round making sure the chain is not twisted. Then I'm going to turn this chain to the back and insert hook in the back loop of that very first chain. Make a single crochet. Now we have two vertical loops. In the left loop, insert your hook pull yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. And this stitch is the first stitch of the round. Okay, so that's the first stitch. In the next stitch, make a double crochet. That's the second stitch. Continue making one double crochet in the back loop of every chain for this round. Finishing the last double crochet. This round is going to be a little twisted because we made double crochets into the back loop. But that's okay, just insert your hook in the first stitch, making sure the round is not twisted. Then grab the main color, make a slip stitch, and chain one to secure. You can cut the other thread because we won't be needing it for a while. Then in the first stitch, I'm going to make the first double crochet. So one single crochet in the stitch, then one single crochet in the left loop. From the next stitch, work one double crochet in each stitch. When you finished the last double crochet, join to the first stitch with the slip stitch, then repeat the last round. Chain one again. Make the first double crochet like I showed you before. Then work one double crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. 
slip stitch in the first stitch then chain one again so you're going to go ahead and keep repeating this plain double crochet round for the most part of the skirt so i did 20 rounds in the main color that's 13.5 inches for me next we're going to leave out these stitches at the center to create a rectangle gap for the crisscross tie i'm going to leave 16 stitches eight here eight here i've already chained one here in the first stitch make a slip stitch then i'm going to work one slip stitch in the next seven stitches So after eight slip stitches, in the next stitch, make the first double crochet, just like how we started each round before. Then continue making double crochets. Before you go too far, mark out the same number of stitches at the end of the round for me it's eight stitches again i'm going to put my stitch marker in the eighth stitch that means i'm going to work the double crochets all the way here and stop right before the stitch marker then turn from this row we start to make decrease. We're going to make the first double crochet normally. The first decrease will happen in the next two stitches. I'm going to work a double crochet two together, yarn over, insert hook in the next stitch, make an incomplete double crochet. In the next stitch, yarn over again, an incomplete double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through three. So at the beginning of the row, one double crochet, then a decrease. Then continue to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around to the last double crochet. When you have three stitches left for this row, Work a double crochet two together again, one incomplete double crochet in the next stitch, then one incomplete double crochet in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through all three. Go ahead and finish the last stitch of the row. So this row is finished. Directly turn your work. We're going to repeat the last row. So make the first double crochet. One double crochet, two together in the next two stitches. Then one double crochet in each stitch. When you have three stitches left at the end of the row, one double crochet, two together decrease in these two stitches, then one double crochet in the very last stitch. Keep repeating this row until you have 10 rows in total. We're going to make one last row with the accent color. So cut this yarn. I'm going to undo the last yarn over pull through of the last stitch so it becomes an incomplete double crochet. Use the purple yarn to complete this stitch. Then 
Then I'm going to follow the same pattern. Make a decrease in the second and the third stitch. Work one double crochet in each stitch. At the end of the row, make a double crochet two together again. Then one double crochet in the very last stitch. Then I'm going to work single crochet along this edge in the side loops of the last double crochet, insert hook and make a single crochet. Then in the next space, one single crochet again. So for every double crochet row, we're going to make two single crochets. These are not normal stitches, so it's hard to put into words what exactly I did, but I'll show you. There is a pattern and um, where you insert your hook matters to how neat and even your stitches will look. So it's normal if your stitches don't look perfect um, the first time. It might take you a few tries to get it to look neat. When you get to the normal stitches, skip the corner one, work one single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet in each stitch. For these slip stitches, just insert in the top two loops. Again, work two single crochets for every double crochet row. You're going to try to find a spot that'll work. At last, I'm going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch, chain one and turn. We're going to work single crochets in this direction. We also need to make a space after every few single crochets. Skip the first single crochet, work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then I'm going to make three more single crochets, one in each stitch. That's four in total. Then chain one, skip the next stitch. Directly work one single crochet in the stitch after. We've created a space. Then three more single crochets. Chain one, skip one. 
one single crochet in the next stitch two three four make a space again so keep working four single crochets then a space like that I happen to have four single crochets at the end you might not be able to end this row with four single crochets but that's okay just stick to the pattern to the end of the row slip stitch in the first stitch then fasten off Lastly, you're going to make a chain that's going to go through the spaces like that. Go along the edge, come out from here, and wrap around your waist twice. Honestly, it's going to be a pretty long chain. I chained 500, that is 125 inches. When you're done, don't forget to sew in the ends too. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this bucket hat to match up with the top and the skirt. I'll see you there.